Hi, my name is Pari. For those who haven't taken my previous course, here is a short introduction of myself. I'm a CRM consultant and a UX designer by trade. Having worked on Salesforce for a long time, I started training people who are excited about the platform. I have also put up my course, Learn Salesforce in Easy Steps and Get Certified on Udemy. After the success of my first course, I realized many of my students wanted to dive deeper into the programming side of Salesforce. So decided to create this course which is focused on Apex and Visual Force. This course is for you if you are a Salesforce admin or an app developer who wants to dive deeper into the programmatic side of Salesforce. So, if you are familiar with the Salesforce interface and customization and wants to learn how to build Visual Force pages and build custom logic using Apex classes and triggers or simply bolster your knowledge with a valuable set of skills, you're in the right place. We'll be talking about five topics that I know will help you get started with understanding the syntax and get you to writing code. The five skills you'll learn are Visual Force. We'll be learning the syntax of Visual Force, explore the different tags available, and create custom interfaces using Visual Force pages. Second, Apex. Learn basics of Apex programming language. Learn about the different data types, collections, and loops. Using Apex, we can build any kind of complex business logic on the Salesforce platform. Third, Sockel and Saucel will learn to use the Salesforce object query language to search your organization's data for specific information. Sockel is similar to the select statement in the widely used structured query language, SQL, but is designed specifically for Salesforce data. Mastering Sockel is key to mastering Apex. Also, we'll be learning the syntax of Salesforce object search language. Unlike Sockel, which can only query one object at a time, Saucel enables you to search text, email, and phone number fields for multiple objects simultaneously. Fourth, triggers and unit tests. You remember, we could achieve some level of automation using workflows, but we quickly hit some limits. Imagine triggers to be workflows without any limitations. When we write code, testing to see how the code works for the first time can be done manually. However, when you have a lot of business logic built with code, it is just impossible to test all that manually every time. So, we'll also learn how to write unit tests to automate the testing process. Fifth, controllers. We'll learn about customizing the behavior of a Visual Force page using a controller. A Visual Force controller is a set of instructions that specify what happens when a user interacts with the components specified in the Visual Force markup, such as when a user clicks a button or a link. By now, most of you might already have a developer account. We shall use the developer org as our playground to learn, test, and write code. You'll have access to flashcards that'll help you memorize some syntax, quizzes to reinforce your learnings, and most of the lessons have a set of assignments so that you can practice it yourself. I believe that the best way to master new skills is to practice them. So this is an active learning by doing class. What you'll all take away at the end of the course is a flexible skill set that will help you write code. You'll have a thorough understanding of Visual Force syntax and be able to create Visual Force pages, gain familiarity and understanding of Apex, you'll be able to write code using different data types, using collections and constructing loops. You would also be able to construct SOCL and SOCL queries and gain the ability to write custom business logic using Apex classes and triggers. You'll also have an understanding of the concepts of test-driven development and write unit tests to achieve good code coverage. You'll learn to control the behavior of Visual Force pages by creating custom controllers. In conclusion, just being able to understand and write code will give you an edge and will definitely make you feel more powerful. There are more opportunities for advanced developers than any other role on the Salesforce platform. I invite you to join me on this journey and look forward to having some fun along the way. If you're all set, 
let's get started with our first lecture on visual force